Hi everyone, welcome back to the our channel Just to Electronics. In today's video, we build a temperature monitoring system using ESP32 microcontroller board. I use this DH18V20 temperature sensor. You measuring this temperature in a remote area with the help of this blink cap. You also set your threshold value in this blink cap through. And when it is close to this your threshold value, then JSON sending this text message with particular mobile number. Now try to build this project. Now we see this component, which component I use in this project. First I use the ESP32 microcontroller board, 16x2 LCD display, SIM 800L GSM model and I use this one SIM card, putting this back side, PS18V20 digital temperature sensor, lithium iron battery, Let's build the circuit diagram. Now we arrange all this component and do this connection one by one. The circuit diagram link available in this video description. If you want then please check out. Now we make a hardware. In a zero PCB we build all this component like I2C module, one piezo buzzer, battery charging system. And in back side I soldering. Now I put this component one by one. Like first I put this ESP32 microcontroller board. 16 by 2 LCD display. And then I put this SIM L GSM model. I use this external antenna to get this better signal. And then I attach this digital temperature sensor. I put this 3.7 volt lithium iron battery. Now the hardware will be completed. Let's design this blink cap. First go to this google type blink cloud. Go to this developer zone. Get this new template. I put this name is the IoT app. Select this board and done it. Go to this device, go to this new template, select this template is the IoT app and create it. Now go to this IoT app, see in this top of this authentic key will be present. Now go to this web dashboard and edit this dashboard. I use this one slider button to set this threshold value. Now I use this one LED to indicate when it's crossed to this threshold value. And the last one is the I use this one gauge to display this real time temperature data. Now I go to this setting and it did this gauge name is the temperature level. Create data stream. I use this virtual pin V0 and set this minimum and maximum value. Go to this unit, select this unit is in the degree Celsius and create it. If you want this, then change this color also and now you save it. Go to the slider button, slider setting button, and it is the it is this name is the threshold. Create data stream, use virtual pin is the V1, go to this minimum and maximum value, we set this 0 to 100, now click this create button and save it. Now go to this LED setting, I put this name is the same, create data stream. Choose this virtual pin is the V2 and create it. Now save it. Go to this setting. If you want this authentic key, just go to this setting and copy it, paste in this code, and the blink server will be done. Now is it ready to work?
okay now see this code before you uploading this code first you install to this esp32 microcontroller driver just go to this arduino id go to this setting and here you add the i mean this esp32 additional key and the link available in the video description if you want then check it just copy it and paste it see this this link you just copy it and paste in this arduino id okay and just go to this setting and paste here then again just go to this tools go to this board go to this board manager and type esp32 and see is the already board will be installed but now i update it and see this processing will be going on now the board will be installed properly okay just go to this tools go to this board go to this esp32 and scroll down and just select this this board okay and now i explain this code first you install this few library like the one word h dot h library you install it this one you install this library and second one is this uh, digital temperature sensor library you install required to be install it this one and also required to install this i2c library suppose if you use this lcd if you not use this lcd then you not use required to this this one library just go to this this library you add it okay and uh, now i will connect it to this gsm module is the pin number 16 and 17 i mean is the ur2 and the digital temperature sensor i connect this pin number 14 fan if you want to this add this relay then i edit this code is the fan i mean this connected to this relay module is the pin number 13 buzzer will be connected to pin number 12 set this temperature value is the float and this temperature is the zero and threshold value is the 40 in a code okay now i put this proper wi-fi uh, username and password and what you see in this blink app authentic key you just paste it here okay and uh, in void setup we are defining this uh, serial being with mean, this uh, serial ports i uh, use this is gsm module that's why i just defining this my serial being is 9600 and the buzzer will be output devices and the fan I and mean, this relay model will be output devices can i define it okay the lcd will be display this temperature monitoring and then go to this threshold value suppose if uh, the threshold value i choose this is the virtual v1 uh, in this blink app i also tell you you choose this virtual and this threshold value is the virtual pin okay then the virtual pin is the v1 you set this virtual threshold value in this blink app loop in the uh, wide loop you defining this uh, sensor pins and we get the sensor data in this uh, variable name is this damp okay and the LCD will, display the LCD will display this temperature value I do this condition is the if and else suppose if the temperature value is crossed to the threshold value then the fan pin will be low and this budget will be high and this relay will be on and the budget will be beeping okay suppose if temperature value is less than this threshold value then normal condition is not budget is the beeping and is display this or uh, the temperature will be not increases okay just come to this uh, text sms in void uh, send sms i will be defining all this uh, 80 commands now you put this your mobile number it here you put your proper mobile number and if i display this uh, i'm this when i sending this text message then display this temperature is high okay just call to this function here i mean this when is cost to this result value this one is the final code okay now you go to this tools select this proper board and go to this tools again select this proper port and hit this uploading button okay let's see this working of this project first we turn on this system and this one is the digital temperature sensor i put this some heat in the help of this lighter 
and when is cross to this threshold value i mean this i said this threshold value is the 54 and when is cross then blink server led will be red led will be blink and json sending this text message also the 16 by 2 also display the same data and it displays the fan off and on now the sms will come see the temperature is high because it's cross to this threshold value now what i do i change this threshold value and fling cap through see is the right now is the 54 i decrease it and when it's crossed to this and this is less than the 50 then see the led will be blink and just i'm sending this text message i increase this threshold value is the 52 then is the normal condition it's not sending this sms when i put this some heat then temperature will be increases and it's crossed to this threshold value this one is really interesting I, I hope you like this video and if you like this video please hit the like button share with all the friends if you new in my youtube channel please subscribe and hit this bell icon to get notification first thank you for watching have a nice day